Hi folks, welcome to the Sweetwater YouTube channel. My name is Lee Wraith from Laney Amplification and I'm joined by Laney CEO, Mr. James Laney. Hello. Welcome, James. We are going to show you today our full range flat response powered guitar cabinets, the LFR. So let's deep dive. Okay, so let's talk about why somebody would want a full range flat response guitar cabinet. We know that loads of people are using digital rigs these days, whether it be what we've got here, which is a Kemper profiler, but it could be a head rush board. It could be all a plethora of different digital rigs. Yeah. Um, so what was going through your mind when, we, when you decided to help I, people? I, I think, you know, digital rigs are here to stay and they're, and they're great and they're creative, useful tools. Um, but I think there's quite a difference between what things sound like in a set of headphones, what things sound like in a, in a mix in a studio or through a set of studio monitors, and the reality of actually being a performer on a stage in a mix with other musicians. Yeah, sure. And I think there's also a difference between what goes to front of house that the sound engineer is going to take care of versus what you actually want to hear and feel when you're playing on the stage. Yeah. So the idea is, is that we have an active cab that interacts with the player on the stage in the moment. You're moving air, you're getting that feel, you're getting that mojo, as you like to call it. Uh, and you can get feedback from the, from the cabinet because that's what you, know, that's what you want to do, right? Yeah, well, I mean, let's, let's talk about that. This, uh, that's the exact reason why Guthrie Govan is using the LFR212 we've got here. His almost exact words were, yay, now I have feedback again. Because um, obviously Guthrie's been going, going out with the aristocrats using a digital rig. It's well documented, uh, and he's been searching for a, a powered cab that's going to give him that that feel, that mojo, as I said. Yeah, exactly. So, tell us a little bit about the LFR two twelve. This is eight hundred watts. Yeah, right? LFR 212, 212, 212 inch speakers. Uh, also got a compression driver, and there is eight hundred watts of Class D power in there. So that is loud. That is very loud for most applications. Sure. Um, so plenty of headroom. Uh, I'd be amazed if there's a situation where that's not loud enough. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got a high frequency trim on the back, is that Yeah, right? exactly. On the back of the panel, it's pretty simple. There's an there's a HF trim and a level control just for... But most of the controls really are going to come from, from the digital device itself. Yeah. Um, so yeah. you're going to connect, connect into the back there in a really simple way. There's also a DI on the back, so that could go to front of house from the back of the cab. And there's a speaker emulation, 112 and 412 speaker emulation on the back of the cab itself. Right. So you could could use, if you've got your IRs coming from your digital device, probably run this in FRFR mode. Yep. Um, but if you just want to use the cabinet emulation, you can switch all of that off in your digital rig and just use the 112 or 4. True. That would be the rule book, but guitar players, being guitar players, there's never a rule book. And Absolutely. what I've actually found sometimes is players are wanting FRFR, but actually that slightly more comfortable sound of a, a, of a guitar speaker is, is what they tend to go for. So sure. it, you can kind of have a bit of a mix of those things. Yeah, yeah. But first and foremost, it's FRFR. But yeah. I think what people also kind of need to understand is that full range flat response is, isn't as simple as that. There's a loudspeaker and a cabinet and amplifier and also the physical space that that's in. That's always going to have its own sound. So yes, it is full range flat response, but it's still an actual speaker and an actual cabinet. So you're talking it. about the enclosure there. Exactly. This is, this is the fascinating thing for me because if you are looking for a, a guitar cabinet and you're looking for an amplifier, then you go to people with the experience of yeah. building and designing those things, don't you? Yeah, there's a massive difference between using a PA cabinet as a monitor yeah. and using a purpose-built guitar cabinet for this reason that still behaves in a similar way because it's full range flat response, yeah, yeah. but it's built for guitar players. Yeah, um, and I think that's the, that's the problem that a lot of people have faced. They've got the digital rigs, they sound amazing uh, in their home environment, even studio environment. Taking them out live is always a compromise. And, and I think that's kind of slowly been eroded by the fact that these are out in the world now. So you've got this, 212 version, but there's also a 112 version. LFR 112, that's 400 watts, 12 yeah. inch speaker, still got a compression driver. Yeah. Very, very similar. It's got a tilt feature, right? Like, yeah, it like can the kick line back. Yeah, so, so instead of just sending, send, sending the, 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 the sound right across your knees, it can actually just kick it back up a bit, sure. get a bit of projection on stage. And it's got this kind of like awesome light. 
It does things. have an awesome light because things with awesome lights are better than things without awesome lights. <laughs> uh, you can, if you have a particularly angry lighting engineer, you can turn it off and continue to play. Yeah. Uh, but you know, why would you want to do that when you can have an awesome light? Uh, so yeah, things with lights are better than things without lights. Yeah. Amazing, and it comes with these really ergonomic um, handles for, for yeah. easy to carry and that sort of stuff. Yeah. yeah, that well, that's the kind of LFR range. Is there anything else? that you would want to mention about it, James? I think for, for what I would say is anybody that's looking for a solution to life performance and is, and is set on using their Quad Cortex or their Axe yeah. Effects or their Helix or any of those products, they should really take a look at this. They should speak to their Sweetwater sales engineer and they will guide them on this path to good tone in yeah, a live yeah. environment. Well, talking of good tones, and let's just give you a few examples that you can just to have a listen to it. Now, this is not an exact science because technically speaking, we could run this particular Kemper profile straight into the desk and that's what you'd hear. So we're gonna flavor the sound slightly anyway because we've mic'd it. But hey, you didn't come here just to listen to two English guys talk. Let's have some <laughs> guitar playing, all right? So there we are folks, that's the Laney Amplification full range flat response LFR range. If you want to know more about it, you've got any comments, questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch with your Sweetwater sales engineer. They'd be always happy to help you. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care. Mm -hmm.